So this is definitely some, I, I think it's on topic. Maybe <laughs> off topic. Okay. That, that wasn't at all, so feel free. Well, there's a conspiracy theory that uh, Avril Lavigne was replaced. Oh, oh God. God. Yeah. And. I don't know how white folk look like, probably was. I don't know. What do you think? Because I'm, I, I think it's just a, someone taking the Paul McCartney theory and like, Let's see, yeah. where, where else can I stick it? So, hey, yo, right there next to my crystals. The the whole thing with that is because I've heard that that whole theory where it's like the idea is Avril Lavigne died mm-hmm. a couple years ago, and this has been a copycat who's been like, no, we still want to keep her image in here like a stake, and let's just put another girl who looks and sounds the same. Yeah. People would point out point out like no like her freckles here and you know she's like an inch shorter in this picture when she was always this height how you gonna tell she's an inch shorter in the photo they'll the the people will do extreme accurate measurement by like okay i can reference the coke can that's in the picture and if i add this and i frame it to his face and i found out he's six two they'll really do that that's true yeah it's true Um, i thought about that after you said that i was like these are people with no lives (laughs) <laughs> um a weird skill for some reason and so there's a whole website dedicated to that whole room like look at Avril Lavigne like she's dead and there's a new person but the thing is that, like once you explore through it the whole thing was it's this is a joke website is that the person goes like I made this because I clearly wanted to show you how easy this thing is to do how easy you guys will believe this stuff so you read the whole thing to buy into it, and then it's like, I made this up on the spot. Just to mess with you guys. Uh, just to show you how like ridiculous it is, you'll believe this. Brilliant. Is that art? The, it's performance art. It It's hilarious, because that's true. Like, no matter how crazy something seems, there will at least always be a few people that will latch on to it. And they'll be like, no, 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 like, this is real. You know what's even crazier is most people don't even have to read those things. They can just read a headline. They read the headline, yeah, like... And they'll share it. They'll be like, look at this. This is obviously true because I read the headline. Why would they even put it on Facebook if it it wasn't true? People don't do that. I've had so many people think Onion articles that I've shared were real. Oh, God. (laughs) Wasn't I referenced in Congress? Was it? Like, one of the representatives of the was like, well, this website, the article says... Backstreet yeah. Boys. <laughs> they are indeed back. No, they, um, that did happen. They referenced the Onion. Because I will say some of their articles are written in such a way I'm like, wow, this, this is really well done. Like, this could be real. But See, you know, if, if you know, you know. Type and of thing. they can be careful now, man. Especially in 2021 when... God only knows what's true and what's not. It's almost to the point where you can just say something as stupid as you can think. And uh, a few people will believe you. That's kind of been mm. happening for like a lot more in the last four to eight years. Yeah. I'd say four. Is that under you on that one? It did happen a lot with the last administration, this whole fucking the fake news thing. Got to everyone. It doesn't hurt that he said that, and people are like, "Oh yeah, they're lying to us about the fair amount of things." Well, even but him I mean, in his Twitter thing, he would say a lot of crazy shit, and then people would just yes, yeah, that's, that's and bad. that's where those Russian robots yeah. would come in, right? And then they would start like studying that shit and sharing it and making people fight. Would you say those Russian robots are from Russia? Angel? Some of them might be from like Serbia. Okay. All right, fair enough. <laughs> He didn't think I knew any other countries. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> any other ones? Not in that area, just any other ones. I'm not quite sure. Well, I mean, the best. I I messed with a few people. I was telling people like, yeah, oh, man, like you see, CDC said be careful now. We're open toed shoes because you can catch coronavirus through your toes. <laughs> well, not like the germs will stay on your feet; just you will contract it. Yeah. When you, especially when you throw in some hot topic like that yeah something that people are on their toes about 
Yeah. It's a uh -huh. Uh -huh. I did it. I connected with that. You son of a bitch. Well, it's like the ancient aliens thing. It's like state of fact, state of authority figure, and they just say some ludicrous bullshit at the end <laughs> because you've already like fluffed them. They they read that far. Yeah. It's easy. Not not misinformation is easy, especially with the internet. Mm. People don't. That you have those people who argue online and they'll ask you like, oh, well, where are your sources? If you post the sources, they're not going to read them. No. They, they don't do it. No one does. Everyone wants you to just... I mean, just post whatever. That's, that's true. A lot of people do. I've often got gotten away with just telling people like, no, I'm not going to go out and find things for you. Like, Look at that. The information's there if you want it. Just because you don't... I don't know. Just because you don't believe someone doesn't mean... That they're wrong. Yeah, but then it's also the other way around. Yeah. Misinformation. In the age where it's literally at our fingertips. As the old saying goes, it's easy to smell a rotten egg, but it's harder to lay a better one. I've okay. never heard that till right now. You're welcome. How old is it? Look it up. <laughs> I wanted you to just. I will look that up later. To trust. Maybe the, I'm off camera. I'm on off camera. My own time. Teach your dog to One month's milk though. You ever um, get into etymology? Like the, like the bugs? No. It's like, like the entomology. Like this, yeah, I think so. The study of where like words come from. Oh, yeah, I like that stuff. I think it's it's really interesting. There's a lot of words out there that have always like captivating me. Like, where, why does it, why is it spelled that way? Or why does it sound this way? Or slang. Slang etymology is really fun. I had a, like, kind of argument, not really, about moose and meese today. Meese. Because someone at, someone at my church was like, well, we say goose and meese. I was like, goose. 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 I said, well, goose is an English word and moose is a Native American word. So they don't follow the same rules. So moose is a plural for moose. And they, they still want to argue with me. I'm like, what are you, what are you arguing <laughs> at this point? It's, people, meese. it's meese. Some people have to leave oh. knowing that you were like, okay, fine. Meese, whatever. I hate agree to disagree. Agree to disagree? As soon as someone <laughs> says that. <laughs> as, soon, as soon as someone says that, that's them telling me. Well, I know I'm wrong, but I'm not going to give that, like, I'm not going to give it to you. I still want to believe what I believe, even though you have shown me that I proof <laughs> that I won't. Nah, yeah, we're stubborn. A lot of people are stubborn. Yeah, that's something maybe we'll work on this year. Maybe being less a, stubborn. Being a little open-minded about things. There can't be too much bad coming from being open-minded. You can be open-minded towards obvious red flags and that could be bad but i think in most cases being a more open-minded is a uh, very welcome thing it's good to have perspective yeah you don't know till you do it you never know till you know until you know until you know, Til you know. that is a good way to look for this look through this year Okay.